Hey people, how's it going? This is Big Jim Blogcast Live. Uh, let me hear you. Shout it out. Give me a holler. Uh, yeah, so, um, all right. So, anyways, yeah, it's this Big Jim Blogcast Live. Uh, let me uh, get to there. All right, okay, hold on here. All right, there we are. Uh, let me hear you. Shout it out. Give me a holler. There we go. All right, so, yeah. Um, all right. So we're going to just share this. Wait a minute. Whoops. Uh, discard that. All right. Share to a group. All right. So anyways. Um, uh, okay. Okay. And so, yeah. All right. Mm, all right. Okay, so here we are. It is Big Jim Blogcast Live, version 5.0, episode 260, Sunday, July 30th, 2023. Mm. Oh, wait, damn. All right, I'm just getting... Okay, so anyways, yeah, 2023. Um, intro, who we are. Um, I hope everybody's having a good long weekend. Larry, how are you? Um okay so I'm just in the moment here um all right so yeah um it, it, it like I said big Jim broadcast live version 5.0 episode 260 do, 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 do. I'm just loading these groups there we go all right so mm -hmm. Mm. All right. So, give me a minute here. Mm. Okay. So, yeah. Uh, Big Jim Blogcast Live. Um, all right. So, anyways, if you're out there, um, this is... Okay, yeah, welcome to Big Jim Blogcast Live, version 5.0, episode 260. Uh, Big Jim Blogcast Live airs Sundays on Facebook. Oh, here we go. Cassette Deck Chronicles. There we go. Sarnia. I'm just sharing. It just came up. So, the Pop Culture Club. There we go. Um, Sarnia Rocks. There we go. You grew up in Sarnia, Ontario. Um, Port... Whoops, oh, mm. so, you know, Port Elgin Beach Casino, all right, so, um, all right, so, okay, classic movies and TV, all TV shows, uh, cassette tapes, do, 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 Mr. Mr. Fans, all right, so, yeah, I know, I, 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 I right on, okay, um, all right, so Stokes Inland, okay, uh, pop, pop culture nostalgia, pop culture of the group, uh, pop culture, oh, fuck, all right, no, discard, I love pop culture, pop culture, boom, boom, 
All right, got to land in the birthdays too. So, lovely birthday wishes, boom. All right, today's birthday, birthday wishes. Whose birthday today? Happy birthday wishes in quotes. Yeah, there we go, because I will do that. Uh, uh, beer, all right, beer, all right, boom. Boom, boom, Beer Lovers Association. Beer Geek Society, all right, craft beer enthusiast, all right, um, <laughs> cigar, Burlington Cigar Smokers, Cigar Smokers of Michigan, International Cigars, uh, to, 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 to friends who like Gurkha Cigars, all right, and yeah, yeah, all right, here we go, Burt Reynolds, all right, all right, okay, okay. Um, get, uh, there we go, Van Halen, all right, the Van Halen fan club, all right, exclusively Van Halen, uh, Van Halen true fans, there we are, all right, hey everyone, uh, this is, all right, thank you for tuning in, uh, I'm just sharing all this, like, uh, okay, yeah, bongos, all right, okay, Congas and bongos, all right, bongos, bongos, all right, blog, all right, there we go, blog, inspirational blog, bloggers blog, all right, blogging and promotion, uh, blogger community, all right, so, all right, what haven't we done here, uh, Star Wars, okay, fan page, all right, Empire Strikes Back, okay, Star Wars fans united, all right, uh, all right, one more time, board games, vintage board games, world of, Bo oh, no, uh, guard, uh, classic board games, all right, all things board games, okay, all right, yeah, hey everyone, uh, Big Jim Blogcast Live, just sharing a few um, of my, uh, my um, podcasts, so anyways, yeah, uh, let's see, let's see where are, where we are, okay, welcome to Big Jim Blogcast Live version 5.0, episode 260, it is Sunday, July 30th, 2023, Big Jim Blogcast Live airs, um, Sundays on Facebook, the occasional Fridays and Wednesdays, as we had a wine o'clock Wednesday this past Wednesday. Um, we are in the fifth year's Big Jim Blogcast Live debuted back in 2018. So, anyways, <coughs> so Big Jim Blogcast Live. If you're new here, um, um, if you're new, uh, Big Jim Blogcast Live does craft beer reviews over 200 and counting. Tonight's craft beer is called Low Voltage Cream Ale from Powerhouse Brewing Company in London, Ontario, Canada. I uh, pair that up with like uh, Gibson with a spirit like Gibson's Finest Whiskey. Tonight it's Gibson's Finest Whiskey um, and a good cigar. Uh, all right. So and that cigar is a Rocky Patel Vintage 1992. I'll light that up. Um, all right. Hold on here. Mm. Hmm. <coughs> okay. All right. But uh, anyways, hold on. All right. Uh, maybe I'll just. Uh, all right. Hmm. <coughs> all right. You got to appreciate it to let it get it going like that. All right. It's a vintage R Rocky Patel cigar. Um. It, uh, yeah, we do craft beer reviews, like, uh, from breweries right here in Sarnia to Ontario to across Canada. And like I said, we pair it with a good cigar and spirit. Uh, we talk about, like, um, classic movies, classic TV, classic sci-fi, classic pro wrestling, uh, sports, classic rock, Van Halen, this week in Van Halen history, local events near you, bongo solos, cubing the Rubik, um, we do birthday shout-outs to our friends um, tonight. Uh, hold on for some wild and wacky birthday shout-outs there. Um, retro, classic, nostalgia, yesteryear are the buzzwords here. Big Jim Blogcast Live is seen in um, the U.S. and Canada and now also seen worldwide. 
from the UK, Australia, Mexico, France, Spain, Germany, and so on. So thank you for watching. Tune us on and turn us in, uh, or vice versa, and enjoy the show. Politics and religion are banned here. So, um, yeah, so I want to tell you first up front here, Big Jim Blogcast Live is not spam. The audio version will go out later on on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, Listen Notes, and all these audio listening platforms we listen to your podcast to. Plus my own YouTube channel, Big Jim Blogcast Live at YouTube.com. Uh, I want to give shouts out to you watching the Sarnia Port Elgin groups. Um, all the, like, uh, you know, uh, especially Sarnia Rocks and supporting Sarnia 2.0. Chain Reaction, all the pop culture, retro classic nostalgia groups. All the Van Halen, Hard Rock, Hair Metal, Craft Beer, Cigar, Star Wars, Sci-Fi, Pro Wrestling, Blogspot, Birthdays, Bongos, Rubik's, um, Classic TV and Movies, Burt Reynolds, Board Game, Mr. Mister, right on. So have fun. Here we go. So I am just going to, all right, the Vintage Marketplace, uh, Best Netflix, there we go, um, Hardcastle McCormick Appreciation Society. Um, uh, nostalgia, nostalgia, all right, there we go, Bowen and Enos, all right, there we go, Home of Nostalgia, uh, Habano Cigar Club, all right, all right, okay, hmm, 80s hair metal bands, right on, right on, okay, 80s metal uncensored, wrestling, all right, all right, so yeah, um, let's see, what else have we not, um, hmm, okay, uh, birthdays, bongos, ah, Rubik's, there we go, Rubik, Rubik's Cube, okay, so Rubik's Cube Speed Cuters, all right, Rubik's Cube Community, okay, all right, mm-hmm, <laughs> style, all right, Okay, here we go. Here we go. All right. So, anyways, thank you for watching tonight. Anyways, um, all right. With our craft beer, mmm, mmm, mmm. <coughs> Good cigar here. Just got to open the craft beer. It's a vintage Rocky Patel, 1992. Um, we've got lots of bongo solos here. Boom. But now, all right. So, anyways. Uh, I'm going to do with my disclaimer, which I usually do at the end, at the beginning. Now, I may say a few bad, dirty words like shit, damn, screw, fuck. Be ready. Be prepared for it. If you don't like it, you got a, you got a box of Kleenex handy. Go to your safe space. And, um, yeah, so, because those words might slip out tonight. So, okay. So, anyways, um, as we get to our, uh, we'll get to the meat and potatoes of the blogcast. All right, so anyways, mm. <coughs> all right, so we get to the meat and potatoes of the blogcast. Um, I'm, uh, I've got like uh, tonight's craft beer. Uh, it's called Low Voltage Cream Ale by Powerhouse Brewing Company in, um, in, uh, in London, Ontario, Canada. Um, and I'm trying it for the very first time tonight. So, um, yes, and I do give it a rating. On it. For those of you who are, like, uh, veterans here, uh, long-time watchers, I, this is my first time trying any beer on here. Um, I'm going to, this is, I got their, their, their glass. I do give this a rating out of 10 later on in the blogcast. Um, all right, so I'm going to pour it. Uh, look at that. Oh, yeah, into the powerhouse. Got one of their, all right. I'll let that settle down, and then I'll explain to you guys I got you guys and gals out there. What, uh, all right. Hmm. <coughs> all right. So, anyways, um, I'm trying the beer for the very first time tonight. Here's my rating system. Um, it, uh, from 1 to 10. 10 to 6 being outstanding, awesome, excellent, very good, above average. Um, 5 to 1 is average, below average, not very good, terrible, awful. So there you go. There's the there it is right there. Okay, and so and while we're on the subject here, like I said, I do give it a rating out of ten later on in the broadcast. So what am I going to give it? A four, a five, a three, a two, 
a one, a six, you never know. So stick around. Um, and before I try that, I want to make you guys aware that in every like craft brewery, there's the Growler. It's your Ontario Craft Beer Guide. Uh, it tells you all about uh, all the currently up-to-date uh, craft breweries in, in in Ontario and uh, where their locations, where there's a grout, where there's a um, a uh, a uh, craft beer brewery near you. So pick it up the next time. I got this at the Bad Apple Brew <laughs> Brewing Company. Yeah, right outside of Godrich, so uh, another great craft brewery there. So, anyways, all right. So, okay. Well, we did, got that covered out of the way. Like I said, I'm gonna. All right, a little bongo solo before I try this craft beer. All right. So, anyways, yeah. Um, okay. So I'm trying this beer for the very first time tonight. Um, What's on tap for tonight? Uh, we've got the, uh, we're going to do some like birthday shout outs, countdowns. Um, I'm going to top this puppy up. Um, we've got a Cannonball Run 2, classic Burt Reynolds movie. Uh, I Married Dora, a classic canceled TV show. We'll explain how Carbonite works from Star Wars, the NWO fake sting, uh, the classic board game, Outwit, our rock star plane crashes, the late Jim Reeves. Our cassette deck classic one-hit wonder, Mr. Mister, welcome to the real world. And as always, this week in Van Halen history. So right on, we'll get to that. Boom. Uh, plus, we're going to do a 12-gong tribute to two music legends that passed away um, earlier this week, this year. So now I'm trying this for the very first time tonight. This is called Powerhouse Low Voltage pre Mail. Now, I got this, yep, uh, Powerhouse in London, Ontario, Canada. Let's go. I'm trying it for the very first time tonight. Here we go. Mm. Smooth. Damn. Oh, yeah. All right. Okay. Smooth. They don't offer any other information on the, except it's got barley, malt, corn, hops, yeast. Well, corn. Well, <laughs> okay. Mm. Mm. All right. And like I said, I do give this a rating out of 10 later on the blogcast. Mm. Yeah, they, they, they very much cream, cream ale. Um, all right. So anyways, yes, I'm just checking my like uh, notifications here. What the, all right. So, um, yeah. Okay. So like I said, um, I do give it a rating out of 10 later on the blogcast. So, if you're still here and sticking around and you want to throw out a number, see if it matches up with mine, feel free to do so. Uh, this is Big Jim Blogcast Live, version 5.0, episode 260, Sunday, July 30th, 2023. Mm. Mm. All right. Smooth. That's the first word that comes to mind. Smooth. All right. So, yeah. Um, okay. And I'm washing it down with, like, uh, Gibson's Finest Whiskey. All right, so, mm, okay, and a good cigar. Mm, 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 oh, mm. <coughs> okay, excuse me. <laughs> it caught me off guard. This is a vintage 1992 Rocky Patel. So for any of you out there, um, all right, so, mm, uh, R Richard Page fans, Mr. Mister. Uh, uh, Mr. M okay. Hmm. All right. So, yeah. Hmm. Roller skating zone. Okay. We've got to make it up to a hundred here. Um, hmm. Okay. Hmm. All right. So, yeah. Hmm. Okay. Let's... Mm, for the love of Dr. Johnny Fever. Okay. Mm. All right. So, mm, Superman fans worldwide, guess blows. Mm, all right. Oh. Okay. All right. So, okay. Just refreshing that a little bit. All right. So, anyways, yeah. Um,. Mm, this is Big Jim Blogcast Live, version 5.0, episode 260. 
Uh, it is Sunday, July 30th, 2023. We've got, um, we got quite the lineup tonight. Uh, mm. All right. <coughs> All right, there we are. Good cigar here. We will get to, uh, we're going to also, for three times tonight, this for all, I don't, you young people out there, um, this is a Rubik's Cube, and it was popular in the 80s, and uh, what you do is you got to try and get all sides, solve the problem. There's like uh, one, two, three, four, five, six-sided cube. You got to get all colors, all sides. So anyways, um, here we go. Now I'm going to try and get the blue color tonight, all sides. You see it's, there's a green there on there. 20 turns. So here we go, and I'm going to do this three times. All right, so here we go. We're just doing a bit of toggling here. All right, so, yeah. All right, drum roll. All right, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, um, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, uh, fourteen, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, and 20. And I just ended up with that. Um, so, all right, this is what one of three tries tonight. I'm going to put it back in the Big Jim Blogcast Live mug. So, anyways, yeah, and I'm going to do that. Like, all right, okay. So, there we go. Um, yeah, so if you're out there, say hello, pop in, say hello, you know. So, hmm. Mm. Mm. <coughs> All right. So yeah. Um Big Jim Blogcast Live. We're gonna get this we were are we are going to do some birthday shout outs tonight. Um I am going to Okay, I'm going to uh, Okay, uh more options. I'm gonna share this one. Mm. All right. Mm. There, there we go. All right, uh, doing some toggling here. Okay, Chain Reaction Canada. All right, there we go. Okay, so anyways, yeah. Um, all right, so, hmm. All right, so we are going to have some, we are going to get to our birthday shout outs. All right, because I know there's a lot of lucky people out there that are celebrating birthdays this past week. Um, all right, so let's see here. Hmm. All right, Sarnia Lampton's entertainment scene, 80s wrestling. Boom. There we go. Um, boom. All right. Uh, mm. All right. So yeah. Um, hmm. Good old days. All right. Mm. All right. So. Okay. All right. Mm. Mm. <laughs> All right, people. Here we go with our birthday shout outs. All right. So. All right. Here we go. Um, our birthday shout outs. Uh, let's see. From July 24th to July 30th, Gary Campbell, Lisa Maselli, Tim Tyrell, Samantha Ramsden, Tricia. Bingham, Mark Hewitt, Matt St. Pierre, Mitch Thorne, uh, Abigail Martin Bowman, uh, and Ann Campbell. So happy birthday, everybody. Happy birthday, Ann. Uh, yeah, so anyways, yeah, boom. Happy birthday, Gary, Lisa, Tim, Samantha, Tricia, Mark, Matt, Mitch, Abigail, and Ann. So yeah, woo. All right. All right, I hope you guys had a happy birthday. Uh, Anne, I know you're celebrating your birthday today, so I know what you got for your birthday. Ha <laughs> ha, all right. Okay, so anyways, yeah, happy birthday, everyone, from uh, Big Jim Blogcast Live. Um, I hope it was a good one, so all right. All right, so let's see here. Um, all right, I'm just doing a little bit more sharing here. Um, all right. So, hmm. all right, hairspray heaven. There we are. Um, hmm. 
Okay, so yeah. All right. Mm. Okay. All right, so all right, there we go. I hope that yeah. all right okay, yeah, so yeah, happy birthday, everyone, and I hope that all of you had a great happy birthday, so yeah, mm. Mm. <coughs> and if you're here. And if you want to, like, uh, say hi, pop on, say hello, feel feel free to do so. So, anyways, yeah. Um, all right. Uh, yeah. So, anyways, we're going to get to some countdowns now. Um, all right. So, before we... All right. So, anyways, August long weekend is five days away. Labor Day long weekend is 36 days away. Fall is 54 days away. Uh, Halloween is 93 days away. And Remembrance Day is 104 days away. Right on. All right. So, yeah. And tonight's craft beer I, is being accompanied by Gibson's Finest Whiskey. Um, it is. All right. Mm. Mm. Oh, yeah. Ah. Damn good. All right, let's see what our notifications here. All right, so anyways, uh, see why. Okay. Ah, yes, okay, that's right, okay. There we go. All right, for one hour. <laughs> okay. All right, I got, the, I got all the groups I want. So anyways, our craft beer for tonight, um, it is called Low Voltage Cream Ale by the Powerhouse Brewing Company in uh, London, Ontario, Canada. I'm trying this beer for the very first time tonight. Mmm. Mmm. Damn good. Um, yeah, so anyways, it is, it goes down smoothly. There's no unpleasant aftertaste to it. Um, I do give it a rating out of 10 later on in the blogcast, so if you're still here and sticking around, uh, feel free to throw in a number. Uh, our good friends at like uh, Powerhouse Brewing Company, and that reminds me, so I'm going to, all right, uh, okay, so anyways, let me share this blogcast with our, our friends at Powerhouse, uh, all right, maybe I can't, all right, so yeah, um, mm, doing a bit of toggling here, all right, so, mm, there we go. So anyways, yeah, low-voltage cream ale goes down smoothly so far. Mm. Mm. All right. Um, goes down really smoothly. Um, and, uh, yeah, so stick around. I'm going to give it a, a, a rating out of 10 later on in the blogcast, so if you're still here, uh, feel free to do so. Feel free to, like, uh, throw out a number. So, all right. For all you cigar aficionados out there, this is a uh, uh, vintage 1992 Rocky Patel cigar. I got that at the Riverfront Cigars here in Sarnia, Ontario, Canada. Mm. All right. So, mm. Mm. <coughs> all right. Mm. Okay. So, yeah. All right. So, anyways, uh, let's see. All right. There we are. So, mm. Mm. <coughs> okay, excuse me. Mm. All right, so we're going to get into some local events here. But uh, before we do that, I'm going to remind everybody tonight, um, this broadcast is not spam. The audio version will go out later on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, and all these audio listening platforms you listen to your podcast to, plus my own YouTube channel. Big Jim Blogcast Live at YouTube.com. Um, I want to give shouts out to everybody watching in the Sarnia and Port Elgin groups, especially Sarnia Rock, supporting Sarnia 2.0. Michelle, you guys rock. Um, all the, like, uh, uh, Chain Reaction, great band there. We just saw them last week, last weekend on the Duke Cruise. Um, all the pop culture, retro classic nostalgia groups, 
um, all the, um, uh, all the Van Halen, hard rock, hair metal, uh, classic rock groups, Mr. Mister, craft beer, cigars, sci-fi, Star Wars, pro wrestling, all the blog spot blog groups, all the classic TV and movies, birthdays, bongos, Rubik's, um, yeah, so, anyways, and Burt Reynolds groups, uh, board games, Mr. Mister, uh, right on, so, anyways, here we go with some local events here, now, for the longest time, uh, COVID had a stranglehold on, on local events, so we're out of that, the buzzwords used to be, like, uh, postponed, hiatus, rescheduled, canceled, um, it, uh, yeah, so Rumble Fish, great band there. They're rocking the Duke New Orleans 2 cruise Saturday, August 12th. Uh, it boards 6.30. Uh, the cruise starts at 7 p.m. you got to contact a band member of Rumble Fish for tickets. They're 30 bucks. Saturday night dances uh, at the Sarnia Legion downstairs. $7 cover charge. They run. It runs from 7 p.m. to 11 p.m. Um, they play classic rock and country. 286 Front Street North. It runs from August... To the end of September. Um, Friday, August 4th is the Blue Water Sand Fest, 2808 Omar Street in Port Huron, Michigan. Uh, sand sculpture, live music, food, beer tent. Can't ask for anything more there. Like, I mean, great times. Um, Shape the Shoreline, Saturday, August 12th in Centennial Park. Hmm. Um, so it's in Sarnia. It's prizes with over 50 vendors and small businesses. Uh, Saturday, September 23rd, 8 p.m., The Feelers at Rustic Music Hall. Rustic, a great uh, music hall outside of Sarnia. Ticket, www.ticketscene.ca. Um, okay. Uh, Saturday, August 26, 2023, is the Mitten Village Block Party. Fifth annual Mitten Village Block Party. I went to the last one. Awesome. Great turnout. Uh, 10 p.m. till 4 p.m. Live music, vendors, good times. Um, London Comic Con 2023. Saturday, September 16th to the 17th at the RBC Place, 300 York Street, London. Tickets. You got to go to eventbrite.com for tickets. Uh, one of the celebrities that's going to be appearing there is pro, ex pro wrestler Jake the Snake Roberts. Um, float Down 2023, Saturday, August 20th, 11 a.m. by the Port here on Noose Lodge. 158 uh, 3520 Military Street. It's an open event. So, all right. And that's all for local events right on. So, okay. Mm. Bongo solo here. Boom. All right. So, good. All right. Mm. 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 <clears throat> right on. It is Big Jim Blogcast Live, version 5.0, episode 260, Sunday, July 30th, uh, 2023. All right. So, anyways, I've got a good craft beer going on. I got it with, with a good cigar here. It's a Rocky Patel Vintage 1992. Mmm. Mmm. Oh, mm. Very strong. All right. Um, I'm pairing the tonight's craft beer with Gibson's finest whiskey. Um, mm, all right. Mm, 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 oh yeah. So tonight's craft beer, it is low voltage cream ale. It is by the Powerhouse Brewing Company in uh, in um, London, Ontario, Canada. I'm trying it for the very first time tonight. Now, when I do these broadcasts, oh yeah. So, anyways, first of all, I got to tell you, um, I want to show you guys something. Um, I was out and about um, a few weekends ago at the candy store in, like, uh, Sarnia, Ontario, and I got these two craft beer lollipops. One of them's pale ale, and one of them's chocolate stout. So, pick it up. It's at your no local crop, uh, candy store near you. And so, all right. Oh, yeah. I mean, if when I do these craft beer reviews, I don't like uh, use fancy words like, "Well, it's a very exquisite tasting," you know, I, I, I highbrow, uh, very. Uh, no, I don't. I just go with my gut on, on, uh, on this beer, and for, mm, 
All right, and so, mm, mm, very good, very, very, very fine, very fine tasting, like very smooth, no unpleasant aftertaste, does go down smoothly. Um, I'll expand on this later on in the blog cast. I just can't give it a number right now. I'm going to top this up. I brought it back up, as you can see. So, um, yeah, um, low voltage cream ale by the uh, Powerhouse Brewing Company in Sarnia, or in London, Ontario, Canada. Mm. 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 Very good, very good beer. Very good. All right. So, oh, yeah. Mm. All right. So, mm. okay. So, anyways, yeah, uh, and I do give it a number. I give you even a rating out of 10 later on in the blogcast, so if you're still here and sticking around, feel free to do so. So that gives it like a bongo solo and a boom. All right. So, yeah. Mm, a little more light there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. So, okay. Mm. Mm. <coughs> All right. So let's see you checking out our notifications here. Uh, all right. So yeah. Mm, all right. Mm, let's go. Let's see here. All right. Okay. Star how cannonball cannonball. All right. So anyways, as we get our meat and potatoes, we get to our movie of the. Mm, all right. Our movie. It is our sequel. Cannonball Run 2. So, anyways, let me lay it out here for you. There is the... There's the movie poster for it. Um, Alright. There we go. Um, it was released June 29th, 1984. Um, it had... The plot, basically, was Sheikh Abdul Falfalal who lost the first cannonball race is told by his father, King Abdul to uh, go back to America and run another cannonball race. The Sheik tells his father that there is no race. His father tells him buy one. So the cast we have, um, okay. So anyways, uh, let's see here. We've got the principal cast. We've got like, uh, uh, Burt Reynolds is JJ McClure. Dom DeLuise is Victor. Uh, slash Captain Chaos, Dean Martin as uh, Jamie Blake, Sammy Davis Jr. as Morris Fenderbaum, J Jamie Farr as Sheik, Mel Tillis as Mel, Jack Elam as Dr. Nicholas Van Helsing. The new cast for this is Ricardo Montalban, King Abdul, Susan Anton and Catherine Bach as the Lamborghini Babes, um, um, Shirley MacLaine and Mary Lou Henner as uh, Betty and Veronica, not their nuns. Uh, Frank Sinatra as himself. This time out, J.J. and Victor pose as U.S. Army uh, generals and his uh, post as U.S. They pose as U.S. Army generals rather than like uh, in the previous uh, movie. Uh, they they use an ambulance. <laughs> okay, so subplot in this: um, Jamie Blake and Morris Fenderbaum are in uh, financial trouble with Don Don Carleone, who is in trouble with mob enforcer. Jaime Kaplan. Uh, during a break in the race, the Sheik ups the stakes to two million for the winner. The Sheik loses the race. Um, Cannonball Run turned out to be one of the final film roles of uh, Dean Martin, Frank Sinatra, and Sammy Davis Jr. So we've got them here, along with like Shirley MacLaine and Burt Reynolds. There you go. Um, and there's another uh, with like uh, Dom DeLuise's Captain Chaos, Mary Lou Henner as one of the nuns. Um, and, uh, there's a complete cast right there. Um, this movie didn't get really a good reception at the box office. It's 13% on Rotten Tomatoes. Cannonball Run, uh, and I got, I got to tell you, it, it, uh, this movie is a mess of a sequel. Um, it, uh, it received eight Golden Raspberry Awards, Razzies. And if you don't know what Razzies are, Golden Raspberry Awards, they're awards for worst picture worst actor worst you know and they got eight golden eight golden raspberry razzie award nominations the 1984 golden raspberry awards for worst picture worst actor worst actress um it it, it is what it is cannonball run is what it is 
Um, it, there's here's the uh, the oh yeah, and Richard Kyle uh, again appears as uh, all right. There we go. There's the full movie poster. The the popcorns in the lobby. The nets are on the screen. Telly Savalas also appears in this. Um, I posted several clips of it on my blogcast page and my Facebook page. The trailer. So cannonball, cannonball. Not what you do, it's how you do it. And here's like uh, the first cannonball run movie cast right there. And so, all right. And so yeah. Hmm. Do it's how you do it. Do, 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 style. And there's like the, uh, and there's like the, the, like I said, these were the final film roles of Frank Sinatra, Sammy Davis Jr., and uh, Dean Martin. So, all right. Um, okay. So yeah, I did like post the movie trailer and several clips from the movie on my blogcast page. Mm. <laughs> Excuse me. As one strong cigar. So yeah, there you go. Um, all right, boom. All right, that is like, uh, and I got the movie on right now. So um, the Japanese duo come back with their exotic car for the movie. So all right, mm, all right. So yeah, okay. So mm, all right, what do we got here? What do we got going on right here? Yeah, all right. So, okay, it is Big Jim Blogcast Live, version 5.0, episode 260, this Sunday, July 30th, 2023. Um, I want to give a shout out to a new restaurant we tried this past weekend, Alternate Grounds, Dockside Cafe in Sarnia. Amazing. Just an amazing place to eat. So, there we go. Got, gave you guys props for that. Uh, let's see here. Hmm. Okay, let's see. Uh, send a messenger. Let's see. Uh, mm, power House Brewing. There we go. There we are. All right. So, yeah. Okay. All right. Okay, good. Good, 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 good. All right. All right. So, yeah, I just uh, threw it in there. Gave a shout out to Powerhouse Brewing Company. Tonight, our craft beer accompanied by, like, a good cigar, Rocky Patel. Oh, yeah, we are. Um, mm. 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 So, may have to relight this again. All right. Mm. Oh, mm. All right. Mm. Mm. Okay. So tonight's craft beer, accompanied by uh, Gibson's finest whiskey. Um. Mm. All right. So. Mm. All right. Mm. Good. Damn good. It is called Low Voltage Cream Ale. It's by the Powerhouse Brewing Company in London, Ontario, Canada. I'm trying this for the very first time tonight. Mm. Mm. Good. Yeah, there, there is a creamy taste to it. Goes down smooth. No unpleasant aftertaste. Um, mm. Mm. Oh, yeah. So, very good. Very good beer. And I do give it a rating out of 10 later on the blogcast. So, if you're still here and sticking around... Please like uh, feel free, feel free to like uh, throw in a number if you if you want to by the end of the broadcast because yeah, so we're all about audience participation here at Big Jim Blogcast Live. So yeah, boom. All right, random bongo solo there for everybody. Mm. All right. Hmm. Hmm. Mm, all right. All right. So, anyway, we get to our classic TV, canceled TV show that lasted only thir 13 episodes. Um, some of you might remember this. 
called I'd Marry Dora. Um, all right, so what do we got going on here? All right, so there we go. All right, so it was called I'd Marry Dora. They had aired for one season, 13 episodes on ABC, September 22nd, 1987 to January 8th, 1988. The cast was Daniel Hugh Kelly as Peter Farrell, Elizabeth Penna as Dora Calderon, Juliette Lewis as Kate Farrell, uh, Jason Hurst as, like, uh, Will Farrell. All right. Now, the premise was the single father, Peter Farrell, who was a Los Angeles architect, was dependent on his housekeeper, Dora Calderon. Dora was an illegal alien from El Salvador and the U.S. government and Im immigration and naturalization department was about to deport her back to El Salvador. To prevent Dora from being deported and arrested, Peter and Dora married. Now, this was like before, okay, <laughs> ABC aired a disclaimer uh, about this, saying that it is, do not try this at home, it is a violation of federal U.S. law. Uh, like I said, ABC just, uh, aired a uh, disclaimer, so, and yes, so it was added in the first episode, stating this fact to viewers, you should not try this in your own home. Uh, in the series, but um, it was mostly remembered for the series finale. The show had low ratings and was canceled um, halfway through the season. The final show broke the fourth wall of TV. Now, so much of this was like ranked number 49 on TV Land's most uh, imaginative moments. Peter received a two-year job offer in Baran and had him board a plane headed across, headed there. But before leaving, Dora and his kids behind. A few moments later, re Peter reappeared and said, hold on, hold on, calm down, everybody. Um, what, Mr. Uh, what, Peter? It's been canceled. She said, the flight? No, our TV series. And they both waved goodbye. They all waved goodbye as the camera panned out. So that was like, that was very imaginative. I remember that episode. So ABC put, um, it aired Fridays. So ABC put uh, it in their primetime network schedule from 8.30 to 9 p.m. And it, they competed with, like, CBS's Beauty and the Beast. And uh, they also competed with, like, Family Ties on NBC. So as you can imagine, yeah, that, that would be, like, there, there it is. There's the lineup. Um, it didn't go out too well for, like, uh, I Mary Dora. Um, family Ties beat them in that time slot. Um, yeah, so, all right. Uh, Fridays, 8.30 to 9 p.m. Um, that's when most, like, uh, networks, want. if you're, like, if you want to get rid of a show, uh, it's been on for a long time, uh, and, and networks send their shows to the Friday night desk slot. That's what it's called. So, as you... Uh, um, Daniel Hugh Kelly was fresh off of this TV show, Hardcastle and McCormick, so, which aired for three seasons on the ABC. So he's most, best remembered for that. There's another picture of him with, like, uh, the late Brian Keith. Um, there you go. So I did post that uh, scene where, um, where they're all like standing in the airport. I did post clips in the trailers of it on my blogcast page, uh, where they're standing in the airport, um, and they go, well, and he goes, it's been canceled. The flight? No, our series, TV series. Bye, everybody. Goodbye. The camera pans out. That was quite imaginative, but it only lasted for a half a season, 13 episodes. So, and I did post several of, uh, hmm, hmm. <laughs> mm. All right, I posted several like clips and that scene on my blogcast page and my Facebook page. So uh, bongo solo, boom. All right, okay, you know what to do. All right, so all right, so if I like uh, do a bongo solo, I relight my cigar. You, you guys know what to do. So all right, all right, there we go. Doing some toggling. This is Big Jim Blogcast Live version 5.0. Episode 260 is Sunday, July 30th, 2023.
Um, craft beer for tonight, I got like a good cigar going with it, Rocky Patel Vintage 1992. Craft beer for tonight is like, uh, it's accompanied by Gibson's Finest Whiskey. Um, mm, all right, straight up. Mm. Mm. All right, um, we've got like, uh, it is called Low Voltage Cream Ale by the Powerhouse Brewing Company in uh, Sarnia, in, in London, Ontario, Canada. Mm. It, already a good beer. Um, smooth. Goes down really smoothly. No unpleasant aftertaste to it. Um, I would say it's a good spring beer. Uh, I do give this a rating out of 10 later on. So if you're still here and you want to throw out a number, feel free to do so at the end of the blogcast. But um, we, we got a good beer going on here. Mm. Mm. All right. So, yeah. And I did... I did bring back up here, so, all right, okay, so, hmm, hmm, okay, um, all right, we're having a good time, it is Big Jim Blogcast Live, version 5.0, episode 260, hmm, hmm, <coughs> all right, so, oh, God. All right. Uh, yeah. So we get to our like sci-fi moment here. Um, all right. So carbonite. Mm. This is like uh, that's how Han Solo encased in carbonite. But what is carbonite actually? So it's a liquid substance made from carbon gas, and can change into a solid through rapid freezing. So commercial goods can be encased in carbonite for preservation. Tabana gas as condensed was transported this way through carbon freezing. Uh, before the invention of hyperdrive, carbonite blocks were used um, were used to put people in hibernation. The side effects were hibernation sickness, temporary blindness, carbon freezing, liquid carbonate was flash frozen into a solid state. The harbor, uh, when, when humans were put in carbonation, like in, in carbonite, they had carbon sickness. Exhaustion, weakness, de dehydration, dizziness, um, temporary hearing loss, and temporary blindness. Uh, example, here's a good example. Han Solo was encased in carbonate in Empire Strikes Back. He was rescued by Leo Organa in the Return of the Jedi. Suffered temporary blindness. He was, all right, so he was put in carbonation by Darth Vader, who originally wanted to go after Luke Skywalker. So, there you go. Um, and I posted... More backstory on uh, on carbonite on my blogcast page and my Facebook page. So there it is. Um, I don't think anybody here would want to be encased in carbonite. So, all right. Mm. So yeah, there it is. Um, there's Mr. Han Solo encased in carbonite as Jabba's Jabba the Hutt's prize. So all right. All right. Mm. Okay. Mm. Ooh, all right. So, mm, man. Yeah, it is Big Jim Blogcast Live, version 5.0, episode 260, Sunday, July 30th, 2023. Mm. Mm. <coughs> all right. Mm. I don't know about that. That cigar is giving me like a heartburn. I don't know. But anyways, nice craft beer accompanied by Gibson's Finest Whiskey. Mm. All right. So, mm. 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 Um, we've got like, we're gonna, I'm going to top this up. This is called Low Voltage Cream Ale by the Powerhouse Brewing Company in London, Ontario, Canada. So I'm going to top it up. Mm. All right, so, okay, and while that's topped up there, um, I've got their glass here. Uh, mm, all right, so let's see. Mm. Okay, so, mm. Mm. all right, it's a, a very good beer so far. No unpleasant aftertaste, goes down really smooth, like creamy, yeah, <laughs> holy shit. I do give it a rating out of 10 later on in the blogcast. If you're still here sticking around, you uh, 
want to like uh, throw out a number, feel free to do so. But this is a good spring and summer beer. Good spring and summer beer. Mm. All right. Okay. Mm. All right. This is Big Jim Blogcast Live, uh, version 5.0, episode 260. I want to tell everybody tonight that uh, this blogcast is not spam. The audio version will go out later on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, and all these audio listening platforms where you listen to your podcast too, plus my own YouTube channel, Big Jim Blogcast Live at YouTube.com. All right. So, I want to give shouts out to rewatching the Sarnia Port Elgin groups, especially Sarnia Rocks, uh, supporting Sarnia 2.0. Uh, Michelle, you guys rock. Chain Reaction, all the pop culture, retro classic nostalgia groups, all the Van Halen hard rock, hair metal, classic rock, Mr. Mr. Groups, uh, craft beer, cigars, Star Wars, sci-fi. Um, uh, pro wrestling, all the blog groups, um, all the classic TV and movie groups, all the birthdays, bongos, Rubik's, Board games, Burt Reynolds, Mr. Mister, right on. So we're having a good time. I'm all right. So yeah. Mm. Okay. So mm. ah, woo. Hmm. Hmm. <coughs> all right. Okay. Good. 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 All right. For the second time tonight. I am going to cube the Rubik. Mm. I'm going to get like try and get blue sides, uh, all blue. Um, and for you young people under 30 who don't know what this is, this is a Rubik's Cube. It was a toy popular in the 80s. Um, retro, classic, nostalgia. So 20 turns. I'm gonna, And if I don't uh, get this by November, if I don't get all, all the, all, all of, if I don't get a color, or two, I don't get a side or two more of uh, solid colors. I'm going to dismantle it on air in November, and I am going to put it back to all colors, all sides. So here we go. Drum roll. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thir thirteen, fourteen. 15, 16, 17, 18, uh, 19, and 20. And look where I ended up. Okay. So this is the second th three tries tonight. So anyways, there you go. And I, I, I promise that if I don't get a full side of blue or any other color, I will dismantle this on air in November. And I will uh, put it back to its rightful, like, uh, all colors, all sides. So I'll put that back in the Big Jim Blogcast Live coffee mug. All right, so boom. There it's like a, all right. Bongo solo there, fuck, all right. So, okay. Mm. Mm. <coughs> all right, so yeah, if you're out there, and I see, like, like if you're out there, say hello, say hi, log on. Type in, say, hi, Jim. How's it going? So, yeah. All right. So now we get to our our uh, obscure, like, uh, pro wrestler here. Uh, we get to the NWO Sting, uh, portrayed by Jeff Farmer. He debuted in 1991, retired in 2005, 6 foot, 3 inches, 265 pounds. He was trained by this gentleman here. His real name is Jeff Farmer. He was trained by Ole Anderson. And Blackjack Mulligan. Now Jeff um, debuts. All right. So, all right. So, anyways, there we go. Doing some toggling there. Um, he 1991 he debuts in the IWF Florida promotion as Lightning as a tag team, Thunder and Lightning. Uh, 1994 he moves to All Japan Pro Wrestling. In 1993 and then WCW uh, feuds with Harlem Heat, loses in Super Brawl 14. Uh, leaves WCW in 1994. 94, 95, he's on the independent wrestling scene. Wrestles for NWA territories and the Dallas Global Wrestling Federation. Doug, going good. All right, right on. I'm um, glad to see you out. Uh, 1995, he returns to WCW. Returns to 
WCW is Cobra. Feuds with Sergeant Craig Pittman over a three-month feud. Now, the NWO, all right, these guys, couldn't recruit the real Sting. So here's the real Sting side-by-side side with Jeff Farmer, with Jeff Farmer's NWO Sting. So, um, all right, so, okay. Doing a bit of toggling right there. Um, they couldn't recruit the real Sting. They recruited the fake Sting, and they attacked Lex Luger, and WCW questioned Sting's loyalty to WCW, and the NWO invaded WCW. NWO Sting involved was involved in WCW paper matches, would mimic the real Sting, carrying a baseball bat and using the Scorpion Deathlock. Uh, the NWO Sting would rely on the NWO to help him win matches. Jeff Farmer, NWO Sting, divides his time between WCW and New Japan and would help out NWO Japan. NW Sting made 1998 teams with the Giant and feuds with the real Sting and Lex Luger, and the real Sting joins NWO Wolfpack. NWO Sting's last WCW appearance was on July 5th, 1999, Monday Nitro. So, 2000 2002, Jeff Farmer dropped the, the NWO Sting gimmick, changes to Sitch J with Chona and uh, Michael Wall Street for, for Team 2000 and feuds with NWO Japan. Team 2000 would go back and forth to WCW and All Japan before WCW closed in 1990 in, in 2001, being taken over by the WWE. So, uh, 2004, Jeff Farmer uh, uh, competes in the independent circuit with the NWO Sting gimmick in 2005 and retires from pro wrestling in late 2005. So there's the NWO Sting. There's the uh, real Sting side by side. Uh, Steve Borden versus Jeff Farmer. There you go. And I did post several uh, clips and uh, matches from the NWO Sting on my like uh, on my blogcast page and my Facebook page. So, yeah. Mm. All right. Mm. Mm. Do, 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 do. Okay. There we go. All right. Mm. Yeah. Doesn't look that all that believable. Mm. All right. Mm. Okay. This is, and I posted several of his like uh, clips and matches on my my blogcast page and my Facebook page. So. Mm. Mm. <coughs> mm. Excuse me. All right. I'm not dying. I'm good. Yeah, it's just a strong cigar. So, all right. So, mm. 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 all right. Ouch. Um, the craft beer for tonight, accompanied by that cigar, and it, and um, Gibson's finest whiskey. Um, mm. All right. So, mm. Mm, good. Yeah, our craft beer for tonight. It is called. Mm. Low Voltage Cream Ale by the Powerhouse Brewing Company in uh, London, Ontario, Canada. I'm trying it for the very first time tonight. Mm. Mm. Yeah, very smooth. No unpleasant aftertaste. Goes down great. Um, all right. Um, it's a spring and summer beer. We'll start off with that. Good for when you're on the back deck with your buddies. Like, this is really good. Um, it, uh, all right. Let's see here. All right. So, it's good. Like, it's a good back deck beer. It's a good barbecue beer. Um, ooh, ooh. Oh, yeah. Really good. And I do give I do give this beer a, a rating out of 10 later on in the blog cast. So, if you're still here and sticking around, here's their, their glass. If you're still here and sticking around, feel free to, like, throw it a number there. So, all right. Mm. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Mm. All right. This is Big Jim's Blogcast Live, version 5.0, episode 260, Sunday, July 30th, 2023. Mm. <coughs> all right. So, yeah. Mm. All right. Bongo solo. Boom. I don't see the Grand Ben crew out here tonight. Uh, 
give me a shout out if you're watching. Like, I mean, come on, Steve, uh, Kathy, um, if you're here, pop up and say hello. And so, anyways, yeah. All right. So, we move on. Um, we've got our classic board game here. It is called Outwit. All right. It is by, like, uh, Parker Brothers it, from Board Game Geek. Um, this is a stab This was created in 1978 by Parker Brothers for two players ages 8 to adult. So, uh, the equipment is one playing board with 90 squares, 18 chips, 9 dark, 9 light. Uh, one chip on each side is a dot, and I call it the power chip. So... The object of the of Outwit is to be the first player to slide all nine of your chips into your own corner from the board. Now, I've got the rules right here. Um, all right. All right. Here are the rules for Outwit. Um, you've got, yeah, you've got, like, uh, there's the board game. There's the rules. All right. So, hmm. okay, and let me show you. All right, I'm going to open this box. And there's the board, there's the square in it right there. And so, all right. So just imagine you've got to move your nine squares, your nine playing chips, and to win, um, it uh, you've got to have all of them in, in here. And so, all right. So it's, uh, you know, so there we go. All right. Mm. All right. So... This is our classic board game for tonight, Outwit, the game. So, looks easy until you try it. So, we should play this game one night. All right. So, all right, we'll put that back. No, oh, actually, we won't. We'll put that back right down here. Um, yeah, so, it. Uh, there you go. And I did post... Uh, the back, more of more of it, that outwit on my blogcast page, my Facebook page. So, look for it. There you go. Mm. Mm. <coughs> All right, good cigar here. It's a Rocky Patel Vintage, 1992. Mm. Oh yeah. So, all right, bongo solo. Um, okay, so, whew, all right, Fuck. it is Sunday night, it is Sunday, July 30th, 2023, it is Big Jim Blogcast Live, version 5.0, episode 260, so, yeah, all right, we got a good cigar going, we got our craft beer going, all right, um, okay, now, we're going to get to our Rockstar plane crash, in a, okay, so, anyways, Mr. Jim Reeves. Mm. Okay, so. All right, Mr. Jim Reeves. There we go. Okay. Mm. This, this plane crash. There's the plane. There we go. Um... This happened July 31st, 1964, 59 years ago tomorrow. Now, the plane was a single-engine Beechcraft Debonair 9872, 98, or N8972M. The passengers were um, Jim Reeves, who was also piloting the plane, and uh, Dean Margo, his business partner and manager, uh, and backing band piano player. Now, the plane took off. From, um, plane took off from uh, Batesville, Arkansas, to apply to Nashville because they wanted to close a real estate deal. Now the cause of the plane. Um, all right. So, all right. Okay. So, anyways, the cause of the plane crash. All right. Remember, Jim Reeves was piloting this. Okay. The plane threw. Flew through a violent thunderstorm um, over Brentwood, Tennessee. Reeves became lightheaded and was uh, and decided to make a, a right turn by the uh, and was directed to make a right turn by the uh, um, radar operator. Instead, he turned left 
and flew further into the storm. Reeves let his like uh, span get too low um, and didn't level out his wings. Uh, a fatal mis- it was a fatal mistake. He didn't level out his wings. He didn't do that. Um, he let the flame like get too low. Um, and the plane ran into some more heavy rain. And at 4.51 p.m. crashed about a, uh, like a minute later. So the impact and the aftermath, here we go. Boom. Crash. Bang. There, oh, uh, game over for Jim Reeves. Um, it, uh, all right. So anyways, um, now in the aftermath, the wreckage was found 42 hours later. The plane wreckage part of it was, um, was slammed to the ground, buried in the ground because of the impact of the crash. Um, the crash site, Brentwood Woods, the bodies of Jim Reeves and De- Dean Manuel were found in the wreckage um, in the aftermath. Um, now, Jim Reeves influenced like a, a, like a bunch of people, Buddy Holly uh, and Patsy Cline, who would later themselves would die in plane crashes. He influenced Mick Jagger. He influenced Mickey Gilly. He was an influence on Loretta Lynn. He was an influence on uh, Elvis Presley, Marvin Gaye, um, even Gordon Lightfoot, and the judge even cited him as an influence. So the aftermath of that and the, like, uh, you know, it's a terrible tragedy to happen. So, yeah, so, mm. all right, boom, okay, so here we go. Mm. All right. So bear with me a minute here. Uh, all right. Yeah. So you wouldn't want, like, um, yeah, the plane flew too low. He flew in it, uh, flew like through a heavy thunderstorm into more rain. And sorry, but game over for Mr. Jim Reeves, who would pass away 59 years ago tomorrow in an unfortunate plane crash. So. There we are. Um, and I posted more information on that plane crash on my blogcast page, my Facebook page. So look for it. Um, mm, all right. So. Mm, okay. So, yeah. Boom. There we go. Okay. All right. So. Hmm. Okay, mm. Mm. it is Big Jim Blogcast Live version 5.0, episode 260, Sunday, July 30th, 2023. Mm. Mm. <coughs> All right, so yeah, mm. coming up, we've got like a one hit wonder. All right, so. Mm. 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 All right. <coughs> All right. Yeah, good cigar there. Tonight's craft beer, um, accompanied by Gibson's finest whiskey. All right. Um, mm, damn good. Okay. Mm. Mm, yeah. Tonight's craft beer, we have. Low Voltage Cream Ale uh, by the Powerhouse Brewing Company in um, London, Ontario, Canada. I am trying this for the very first time tonight. Um, I got to say, so far, mm, mm, I got to top that baby up there. So, all right. And I got to say, this beer is really good. Um, It's a good spring summer beer, good back deck beer, good barbecue beer. Um, yeah, so, uh, and I do give it a rating out of 10 later on in the blog cast. So if you're still here and sticking around, feel free to, you know, throw out a number because as we're all about audience participation here at the blog cast. Mm, 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 all right. Mm, yeah. Mm, all right. Woo. Okay. Boom. Bongo solo. All right. So anyways, we get to our, uh, 
<clears throat> all right we get to our cassette deck classics so all right so we've got all right we got the tape there uh who do we have all right so anyways okay so we have mm, we have mr mister all right so and we've got their cassette all right welcome to the real world but, uh, yeah, they were active from uh, 1982 to 1990. We've got the members here. Richard Page, uh, singer, bass player. Steve George, keyboards. Uh, Steve Ferris on guitar. Uh, Pat Mastelotto on drums, um, percussion. Mr. Mister was formed in uh, Phoenix, Arizona. Their albums, 1984, I Wear the Face. Um, Page... Like, I guess, I got to tell you, Page was offered lead singer slots in Toto, Chicago, turned them all down. But uh, they released I Wear the Face, their first album in 1984, didn't go anywhere. Uh, 1985's Welcome to the Real World, breakthrough album, the singles Kyrie, Broken Wings, hits number one on the U.S. pop charts, number one on the MTV videos. Uh, there you go, close up there. There's the band. Um, it... Uh, 1986, they get two Grammy nominations. They toured with Don Henley, The Bangles, The Arrhythmics, Tina Turner, Hart, Adam Ant. 1987's follow-up album, Go On, didn't do as well, didn't chart on the uh, uh, on the U.S. album charts. Uh, 2010, Pull, recorded in 1990, band was dropped by RCA. Lawsuits, uh, there were lawsuits. RCA was taken over by BMG Records, resulting in the delay. The band breaks up. 1988, Steve Guitarist, Steve Guitarist leaves... The guitarist Steve Ferris leaves the band. Mr. Mister carries on with a few session guitarists, but to record Pull, RCA, when they take over, the band breaks up. Now, 2010, there was a band reunion. Pull is released at, uh, on Richard Page. Uh, independent album, uh, Little Dreamer Recordings, November 23rd, 20, 23rd 2010. Um, their Grammy nominations in 1986 was Best Duo, Best Pop Duo or Group, 1987 Best Goo, uh, best uh, Performance. So, but yeah, um, I posted their their videos. Um, Is it Love, Kyrie, Broken Wings on my blogcast page. Plus an interview with Mr. Mister, Steve, like uh, Richard Page. So look for it, like it. This is the Tape Deck Cassette Classic. So, all right, and I want to show you guys, if you guys know what this is, all right, so, okay, there we are. There it is. There's the boombox cassette. You had, everybody had one of these in the 80s. And so, there we are. All right, your cassette deck classic. Okay, set that down. Along with the tape deck here, right here, right there, you know. In and out, there we go. Um, push it in. All right, there we go. And it goes back. This is our cassette deck classic, One Hit Wonder. Mr. Mister and their album Welcome to the Real World. And so there we go. All right. Okay. Da, 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 da. So take these broken wings and learn to fly again. Learn to live so free. Cause when we hear Oh, yeah, better not. Okay, so there they are. Mr. Mister. Um, and there's a, another picture of the band right there. All in their 80s glories, the haircuts. Yeah, look at that. So, all right. Boom. And when we hear, Kyrie lays them down the road that I must travel. Do, 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 do. Don't want to give too much away there. Bongo solo. Boom. All right. So, yeah. Um, okay. It is Big Jim Blogcast Live, version 5.0, episode 260, Sunday, July 30th, 2023. Uh, before we get to my most favorite time in the blogcast, mm. Mm. <coughs> good cigar here. It's a Rocky Patel Vintage 1992. Um, mm. All right, getting ashes all over me here. Uh, yeah, our craft beer for tonight, it is accompanied by Gibson's Finest Whiskey. Um, all right, so, okay, 
Mmm. 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 Yeah, that's damn good. Damn good. So, the craft beer for tonight, it is called uh, Low Voltage Cream Ale by the Powerhouse Brewing Company in London, Ontario, Canada. Now, I, okay, now when I do these craft beer reviews, I don't go, ah, it's a very exquisite tasting high bro, very, you know, it's very, yeah, yeah, exquisite. I don't do that. I go with my gut. So, anyways, uh, yeah, it's my gut's telling me, hmm, good spring, summer, and fall beer, good back deck beer, good barbecue beer. This would go good with steak. Hmm. Yeah, this would go good with anything you cook on the barbecue. Mmm. Mmm. Beach. Coming back from, like, playing sports, playing a game of ball, game of baseball or football. Mmm. Mmm. No unpleasant aftertaste to it. Goes down really smooth. So, um, and yeah, and I do give it a rating out of 10 later on in the blogcast coming up shortly. So if you want to throw it a number, you got to... Feel free to do so. Like, I mean, there you go. Um, so, yeah, very good beer. And it's by the, like, Powerhouse Brewing Company in London, Ontario, Canada. So, mmm. Mmm. <coughs> All right. So before we get going, again, I want to remind everybody this broadcast is not spam. The audio version will go out later on Spotify Apple Podcasts, and all these audio listening platforms you'll see podcasts too. Plus my own YouTube channel, Big Jim Blogcast Live at YouTube.com. So, yeah. Shouts out to really watching the Sarnia Port Elgin groups, like Sarnia, Supporting Sarnia 2.0, Sarnia Rocks. Michelle, you guys rock. Chain Reaction, Glenn, great band there. Great, awesome band. Um, all the, uh, um, all the, like, uh, um, Pop culture, retro classic nostalgia groups, all the Van Halen, hard rock, hair metal, one hit wonder, Mr. Mr. Groups, craft beer, cigars, sci fi, Star Wars, pro wrestling, blog spot, all the blog groups, all the classic TV and movies, all the birthdays, Rubik's Cubes, Bongos, Burt Reynolds, board games, classic board games, Mr. Mr. Right on. So, boom. Okay. All right. Yeah. Hmm. Um, okay, so anyways, we get to my most favorite time in the broadcast. Mm. It is called This Week in Van Halen History. All right, so, mm. okay, here we go. All right, yeah, Teresa, yeah, all right, all right. Good to see you out here, Teresa. You just, you're just in time for my most favorite time in the broadcast. It's called This Week in Van Halen History. All right. So, hmm. Okay. So, anyways, here we go. From July 24th to the 30th. All right. July 24th, 1988, David Lee Roth plays the Myriad in Oklahoma City, Oklahoma. July 25th, 1980, Van Halen played the Boston Gardens in Massachusetts. July 25th, 1993, Van Halen plays the Deer Creek Music Center in Nebelville, Indiana. July 26, 1986, Van Halen play the Kemper Arena in Kansas City, Missouri. July 28th, or no, July 26, 1988, Van Halen played the Richfield Coliseum in Cleveland, Ohio. July, July 26, 2004, Van Halen plays the Kemper Arena in Kansas City, Missouri. Um, July 28, 1998, um, Van Halen play, bring the Monsters of Rock tour to the King Dome in Seattle, Washington. July 27, 2013, Sammy Hager plays the Summer Stage Concert Series in Del Mar, California. Hmm. July 28, 1980, Van Halen plays the Freedom Hall in uh, Farmville, Kentucky. July 28, 1995, Van Halen plays the World Music Theater in Tinley Park, Illinois. July 29, 1995, Van Halen played the Alpine Music, Alpine Valley Music Theater in East Troy, Wisconsin. July 30th, 1988, Van Halen brings the Monsters of Rock tour to Mile High Stadium in Denver, Colorado. Boom. And that is all for this week in Van Halen history. Right on. 
for self. Okay. So, anyways, yeah, that was good. All right. Okay. Anywho, all right. So, like I said earlier, um, I wanted to pay tribute to two legends who passed away uh, this uh, uh, past week. Um, two, lo well, they are music legends. Mm. Mm. <coughs> All right. Tony Bennett and Randy Meisner of the Eagles. And so there we go. They are legends in their own right. Tony Bennett, an excellent singer, um, passed away this past week. Uh, and Randy Meisner, a co-founding member of the Eagles, also passed away. Um, he was he was mostly known in the Eagles for singing "Take It to the Limit." He had that high voice. Um, there we go. There is Randy Meisner, and there is Tony Bennett. And we're going to do a ten gong salute to both of them. Plus, uh, let's see here. Yeah, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine, ten. There we go. Boom. Yeah, and there's your two legends there, Randy Meisner and Tony Bennett. Right on. So, all right. Um. All right. Boom. Okay. So. Yeah, it is Big Jim Blogcast Live, version 5.0, episode 260. Mm. Thank you for watching. Mm. All right. Mm. All right, got to relight your cigar. Mm. <coughs> All right. So anyways, before I rate the beer, I am going to cube the Rubik one more time. All right. So this is the third time tonight. Um, okay. So you know the drill. Um, I'm going to try and get like, for those of you that don't know what this is, this is a Rubik's Cube. Like uh, everybody had one in the 80s. Uh, you have to like get all side, all solid colors all all sides so what I do I'm gonna do this for the third and final time tonight I'm gonna try and get the all blue side uh, on 20 turns if I don't I'm gonna keep on doing it all year long until my last broadcast in November where if I don't get a, a solid color uh, on all sides I'm gonna take it apart on air and I'm gonna re uh, you know and uh, I'm gonna like uh, you know, restore it to all, all, all colors, all sides. So here we go. All right. All right. 20 turns. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, uh, sixteen, seventeen. And 18. All right, and I didn't get that this time. So, uh, like I said, if I, I'm going to keep doing this all year long, and if I don't, I'm going to disassemble it on air and restore it back to its original size, and it goes back in the Big Jim Blogcast Live coffee mug. All right. So, oh yeah, bongo solo there. Boom. All right. So, um. It is time to like, give my final thoughts on this beer. Mm. Mm. <coughs> all right. So, anyways, um, all right, we get this ready here. Uh, let's see here. All right. So, mm, oh, well, I'm not going to use that, 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 or that. Mm. All right. So, anyways, mm. all right. So now it's time. Now, oh. Oh, okay. I don't think you were talking to me. So, all right. Uh, Teresa, um, you gotta you gotta be careful with the language on here. Uh, Facebook kind of censors the. If you if like uh, I mean I know you called 
dug a fuck face, but um, you got to like uh, be uh, people got to be careful like uh, on. I can use such language as fuck, damn, shit, screw, but other people like when you're commenting um, and you say a swear word, Facebook automatically censors it, and I got to uncensor it back later on. So just like, uh, and I got to restore that later on. So anyways, just be careful with what you with what you type to, to Doug. If he's a fuck face, hey, he's a fuck face. But Doug's a nice guy. Um, anyway, Doug's an awesome guy. Um, all right. So anyways, my craft beer for tonight, got a good, with a good cigar. Mmm. 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 <coughs> all right. Rocky Patel Vintage, 1992. So, um, yeah, and tonight's beer, accompanied by um, Gibson's Finest Whiskey. Um, mm, all right, so, mm, mm, mm. tonight's craft beer, and I'm going to top this up uh, before I rate it. Um, my final thoughts before I give it a rating, mm, mm. goes down smooth. It, uh, it, it's no problem, no problem, Teresa, it's all good. I just got to go in there and uh, restore the comment later on, so... I know it wasn't mean spirit or anything, but anyways, it's called our craft beer is called Low Voltage Cream Ale by the Powerhouse Brewing Company in London, Ontario, Canada. Um, anybody want to throw in a number right now? Feel free to do so because this is a good tasting beer. It goes down smoothly, no unpleasant aftertaste. Good spring, summer, and fall beer. Good beach, beach beer. Good uh, barbecue beer. Uh, goes good with anything on the on the uh, barbecue. Mm. Mm, um, yeah, so, um, and what am I going to rate it? Um, oh yeah, awesome beer. Um, okay, here we go. Um, nine, nine out of ten. Fuck yeah, nine out of ten for this beer. Um, fuck, Powerhouse Brewing Company, low voltage cream ale. Great guy, great good beer. Um, awesome beer. Got to hand it to these guys. Uh, I will type in a number here. Um, all right. There we go. 9 out of 10. All right. 9 out of 10 for um, um, Low Voltage Cream Ale by the Powerhouse Brewing Company in uh, in Sarnia, or in London, Ontario, Canada. So, mm, mm. definitely a do again. All right. So, yeah, good. Oh, yeah. Um, low voltage cream ale. Can't go wrong with that. I suggest if you see it in your local liquor store, go and pick it up. Um, it, uh, yeah, so, yeah. Um, it, uh, right on. So, there we go. There's the rating system. It's like, uh, mm, awesome. Makes you want more right away. High seller potential. Right on. Fuck yeah. And so, okay, all right, so low voltage cream ale, I gave that a 9 out of 10, definite do again, definite do again, so, all right, 9 out of 10 for low voltage cream ale, so, I gotta pick this up right here with my hands, all right, so, okay, <laughs> there we go, all right, 9 out of 10, all right, so, there we are, mm, mm. Oh, yeah. Amazing, awesome beer. So, all right. Mm. I'm going to give you guys an inspirational, motivational quote. Um, mm. Okay. Keep some room in your heart for the unimaginable. And that's by Mary Oliver. Keep some room in your heart for the unimaginable. All right. So, okay. We got that out of the way. Bongo solo here. Boom. All right. Okay, mm, yeah, so 9 out of 10 on that craft beer, so anyways, uh, let, mm, I got to notify them, so, mm, mm. Mm. <coughs> ah, excuse me, um, all right, so anyways, mm. Mm, all right, there we go. Yeah. Mm. Mm. 
All right. So anyways, I have people. Okay, I have. All right. So anyways, this is Big Jim Blogcast Live version 5.0, episode 260, 260, Sunday, July 30th, 2023. Now, I, I've been getting requests um, for T-shirts. Now, if you want a T-shirt like mine, or if you want a T-shirt like... Uh, all right, so we've got like the uh, uh, this one, plain white T-shirt, or all right, uh, or a baseball jersey with the on the logo on the front and the back, or even a classic. All right, mm. Mm, all right, so or even. A classic Big Jim Blogcast Live T-shirt from 2019. Um, they are, all right, give me a minute here. T-shirt like mine, or the ones I just showed you. They are $35 plus shipping, and like it includes shipping and handling. And I know like, um, you know, uh, four to six weeks for delivery. You send me an e-transfer or a money order, and I will do my best to get that out to you. Remember, it's... Four to six weeks for delivery. Thirty-five dollars that shipping and handling is in, is included, and uh, I will do my best to get that out to you. As uh, you, some a lot of people have like uh, um, requested me, so just inbox me on my blogcast page, my regular Facebook page, and we will like um, I will try to do my best to uh, get that out to you. So Bongo Solo, boom. All right, so. Mm. Okay, so yeah, uh, good craft beer tonight, uh, accompanied by a good cigar. Mm. Mm. <coughs> All right, so yeah, um, one of the things I want to explain to you, to you if Teresa, like I can, I can say like, uh, I can get go out and, um, um, mm. all right. So if you decide to like get a little saucy in your comments, Facebook will like uh, hold them, and I got to go back in there and uh, and uh, make them public again. So, all right, just just to let you know, get, uh, give you a heads up or anything. Um, so, but yeah, if you want to call Doug a fuckface, that's great. That's fine. I know it's I know it's not mean spirit or anything, but Facebook does not know that. So. Anyways, yeah. Um, all right, all right, people. Uh, for Big Jim, this is Big Jim Blockcast Live. Big Jim Blockcast Live version 5.0, episode 260, Sunday, July 30th, 2023. Um, all right. So we did our craft beer review, low voltage cream ale at the Powerless Brewing Company in London, Ontario, Canada. Nine out of ten, great beer. Uh, we cubed the Rubik. Birthday shoutouts: Gary Campbell, Lisa Maselli, Tim Tyrell, Samantha Ramton, Trisha Bingham, Mark Hewitt, Matt St. Pierre, Mitch Thorne, Abigail Martin Bowman, and Campbell. Uh, we did countdowns, local events, our movie Cannonball Run Two. I married Dora, Carbonite, uh, NWO Sting, our classic board game outlet. Our rock star plane crashes, Jim Reeves. Our cassette deck classics, Mr. Mister. One hit wonders, welcome to the real world this week in Van Halen history. Our inspirational, motivational quote, keep some room in your heart for the unimaginable, Mary Oliver. Um, once again, this podcast is in spam. The audio version will go out later on Spotify and Apple Podcasts. And all these audio listening platforms are to your podcast too. Plus my own YouTube channel, Big Jim Podcast Live at YouTube.com. Shout out to be watching in the Sarnia Port Elgin groups like Supporting Sarnia 2.0, Sarnia Rocks. Michelle, you guys rock. Um, Chain Reaction, great band there. All the pop culture, retro classic nostalgia groups. All the Van Halen, hard rock, hair metal. Uh, Mr. Mr. Craft Beer, cigars. Sci fi, Star Wars, pro wrestling. All the blog groups, all the classic TV and movie groups. The birthdays, the bongos, the board games, the Rubik's Cube groups. Burt Reynolds, board games, Mr. Mister, right on. Um, T-shirts, our motivational quote, keeps the room in your heart for the unimaginable by Mary Oliver. Uh, that's great. 
So you may or may not see me next weekend. So anyways, cheers everyone. Um, nine out of 10 for low voltage cream ale by the Powerhouse Brewing Company in, uh, in London, Ontario, Canada. Mm, great beer, go pick it up. Mm, all right, oh yeah. Mm. 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 All right. So, for Big Jim, for okay. So for Big Jim Blogcast Live, uh, episode two sixty, Sunday, July thirtieth, twenty twenty three. For Big Jim Blogcast Live version five point I'm Jim. Uh, have a good weekend. The rest of your weekend, enjoy your like. Thank you for ending your weekend with me, and uh, we'll be in touch. Definitely be in touch. So, yeah. Cheers, everyone, and goodbye.